All right, all right, all right. We are back here at Song of the Day coming to you from the Rock Cave. I'm your host, Mark Pierce. It's Sunday, Slow Down Sunday here in the cave. We haven't done too many of those. But this week with the sad news of David Crosby passing at 81 on Wednesday certainly warrants a Slow Down Sunday episode today. Can't do justice to David Crosby's career in uh, a short video, but uh, we'll do our best. Uh, the rock and roll community uh, in mass uh, just coming out with tributes to uh, him and his contributions to rock and roll, specifically folk rock uh, in the late 60s and early 70s. First with the Birds, founding member of the Birds with Roger McGuinn and Gene Clark. That uh, signature 12 string guitar Roger McGuinn played in the harmonies provided by David Crosby, especially those first two records. Uh, and uh, that song, 1966, Eight Miles High, uh, pretty amazing. They brought uh, Dylan's Mr. Tambourine Man to number one in the UK uh, and just uh, so much good music out of the birds. Uh, pretty pretty short career at first. It's 1967. By 1967, they're in uh, Monterey Pop. And it's there that he subs for Neil Young at Buffalo Springfield. Uh, and the band didn't care for that too much. A lot uh, of animosity there. Uh, and then by 68... He met Stephen Stills, who was out of a job, uh, either at Cass Elliott's house or at Joni Mitchell's house. I read both. Uh, next thing you know, you got Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Um, and uh, their second ever appearance was at Woodstock. Uh, I read somewhere it was their first. It's not their. I didn't. I don't think it's their first. It's their second. So we're going to post that clip below. But think about that for a minute. That set at Woodstock was only the second time they played live together ever. That, that's amazing alone, all by itself. That story right there is unbelievable. Uh, first album with them, uh, Graham Nash. Of course, he came up from Leaving the Hollies, but uh, 1969, that album uh, was basically a hit. Two singles. Uh, he wrote Grenevere, Wooden Ships, Almost C uh, Cut My Hair, Deja Vu. Uh, all these songs. Deja Vu came out uh, in 69. Neil, Neil Young joined, and that went to number one. Four Way Street, 1971 live album. They put out a live album right away. Uh, that's a that's an infamous album, inf famous album. It's not so infamous, uh, and uh, that's just that they were, we were selling that at the record store in the late 80s when it came out on CD. That was selling like crazy, so it's pretty amazing. Uh, they broke up. They got back together. There was a lot of that going on. It was hard to keep track. They did a stadium tour in 1974. And then they didn't play together as Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young until Live Aid in 1985. But, of course, Crosby, Stills, Nash continued. And that's when I heard about them for the first time on Casey Kasem, uh, Southern Cross, and Waste on the Way, Daylight Again, that record. And, of course, on MTV in 1983 when I got that. Uh, but that was what brought my attention to their work. And I wouldn't go back to their catalog until I met my wife, Sarah. She was into the, that stuff. Uh, and I had not been listening to it. And she introduced me to all that. And yet again... More credit to Sarah for introducing me to that. And I uh, just absolutely love that stuff. Uh, I loved American Dream when it came out in 1988. Not a lot of people uh, have a, uh, that on their radar. Uh, Got It Made, that's a Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young record. Uh, Got It Made was a great song. Uh, it was a little poppy, but, it, but I liked it a lot. They did tours, 2000, 2002, 2006. I'm not sure which one I went to. I think it went to 2002. Uh, I only have one thing from that show. And that's what appears to be a matchbook, but it's not. It's that. Teach your children. I do have that. Uh, anyway, uh, so certainly a lot of uh, weaving in and out between CSN, CSNY, his solo work uh, over the years, and then plenty of drama in between, but uh, we don't concentrate that on that here in the cave uh, under just such circumstances. Uh, again, uh, what a talent and uh, what a career. Um, trying to pick a song of the day. From Crosby, Stills, Nash, or Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young, impossible. Too many good ones. Uh, but if we're going to narrow it down to David Crosby, uh, for me, it would have to be between Deja Vu and Almost Cut My Hair. Almost Cut My Hair wins for me. That's one of the earliest ones I remember liking, and that's your song of the day today, a tribute to David Crosby. Again, uh, I couldn't be, uh, couldn't do enough justice to uh, what he contributed with those harmonies. Like I said, turn, 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 so you want to be a rock and roll star, a pioneer of folk rock gone at age 81 play yourself csn csny today whatever it is you're doing i hope it involves music we're going to talk some more about neil young 
uh, at some point in the near future because uh, he's got some uh, release that just came out. So enjoy your day today. Make sure you listen to that music. We'll see you next week. Have a good one. Catch you next time. Yes, I feel like I